Like, yeah, you can have the best cults in the world, but that may, doesn't, may, doesn't may make you a champion. You have to work for it yourself. I am obsessed, especially when it comes to season and, and you know, comes to my success. I am, I'm absolutely obsessed. If you want to be the best at it, you've got to be obsessed by it. You've got to give your life it. You've got to live it. You've got to breathe it. You've got to be that going to go, willing to go that extra mile just where certain people aren't willing to go. Because if you want to get to where anyone can come in a gym and kick the pads and spar and do this, but when they're tired, it depends, are they willing to do another round? Are they gonna get back on the pads afterwards? When you can't breathe anymore, you know, you've been hurt to the body in the middle of a, like round 10 of sparring and a fresh opponent comes in, are they gonna get out? Are you gonna stay in and you're gonna keep going? So obsession is massively important in anything, not just fighting, just in any walk of life where you wanna be successful. Yeah, of course there's, 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 there's pain along the way, you know, um, but these are all just feeling up here, you know, it's, you know, how are you going to treat, treat those feelings, you know? Um, what are you going to do about it? That's, that's, the, that's the big big question, you know. For me, I, I would do anything possible to recover as fast as possible so I could even train more often. That's my goal. The more you can train, the better you get. If I can train more than that guy, then I most likely on the long, 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 long term will get much better than him. Losers always have an excuse. Everyone who loses or something, losers have excuses. You can sit around and wait for stuff to happen. I can get out there and make things happen. And that is massively important in any walk of life. It don't matter who you are or what you do, you've got to get after it, you've got to chase it, you've got to make it happen yourself because no one's going to get gifted to you. You're going to have to work for it and those people who are working and those people who are just grinding and they are going the extra hour, doing the extra mile, they're the ones that are going to be at the top. Stop blaming others. Stop blaming people for the reasons you find yourself in now. Stop blaming your situation. Stop blaming your parents. Stop blaming the government. Stop blaming your genetic. Stop blaming your finances. Stop blaming your past. Claw yourself back into the light. That it doesn't come without hard work and dedication. You have to you have to focus on things. You have to you have to fight through adversity at times. And I for that year when I was 21, I certainly done that and I'm reaping the the rewards now. I'm a pretty skillful fighter, but that didn't come naturally. Failure is something that can be seen as a negative or a positive. In that instant when you fail, it's certainly negative and you're down in the dumps. Um, sometimes people go as far as being depressed from failure, but it's about using that failure to your advantage, understanding why you failed and trying to implement things that won't allow that failure to happen again. It takes commitment, it takes hard work and drive and determination and, and sacrifices and everything else, but I think there has to be an element of luck in your career and things have to fall into place at the right time. I suppose the more, the more you train and the harder you work, the luckier you get sometimes, but things all have to fall into the place at the right time. There's always room for improvement and that's what makes a fighter a, bat a better fighter. If you want to achieve your goals, you have to you have to step out of your comfort zone um, and challenge yourself. So I'm, I'm not scared of losing, like I've, I've lost in other situations in it, so, but losing's a good thing at the same time. Big risk equals big reward. Take risks and grow. Failure is failure when you accept, accept it. Failure is like, people say you can fail, but try again and you'll succeed. As long as you're learning, yeah, it's not, it's not failure. But yeah, keep trying and you'll succeed. Because if you fail, you learn. You learn where you failed, what your, what your mistakes was, and how to do better next time. It's got to have an end goal in sight at all times, an end goal. So, so a lot of, you're going to have a lot of bad days in this sport. Um, bad fights are going to come like it's part of the sport, but as long as you keep that end goal in mind, you've always got something to aim for and a direction to go in. Be focused on what, what you want from life and just stick to that. Whatever hurdles you come past, just, just stick to that and you'll get there. Um, path's never always that smooth and things might happen in your life where you can't, you can no longer pursue that goal so you have to be able to divert any, any time. 
you definitely need hard work to get to the top of this sport because there's so many people doing it. But you do need a bit of luck. You do need a bit of luck, definitely. The only person you can truly blame is you because you are the only person who can get yourself out of it. Live life a victor, not a victim. You say, why me? You should say, try me. Life will push, squeeze, pressure, and attempt to make you bend at the knee. Some become a victim to life. Things happen, pain, heartache, and loss. We can either be the victim or the victor to these situations. They say win or lose, at least you took part. But this is life. I am not here to take part. I am here to win. One life. One shot as far as we know it. This is all we have got. So why waste it? You want to leave a mark. You want to leave a legacy. You want your name to continue on the lips of others for years to come. You want to clock your card in proud of what you achieved, happy with the decisions you made, and with the knowledge that you left the earth in a better way than you found it. You want the earth to be a better place because of your existence. You have the ability to do this. All it takes is positively impacting someone else's life, helping others live and lead a more fulfilled life. It starts with you. If life beats you down, stand back up. You will be stronger for it. Every hurdle you overcome, you are stronger for it. Every storm you weather, you come out more determined. Every obstacle you defeat, you come out smarter with a better strategy. You get what you work for, not what you wish for. Think about what you want, what you need, what drives you, drives you towards success. Have you always wanted it? So what are you doing about it? How are you changing? How are you making progress? If you're doing nothing, then how are you expected to even make a touch of progress? Stop wishing for something to happen because it never will. You need to work, work harder and harder. This will be the only way to drive yourself forward. Open your mind to new opportunities, to new possibilities to new achievements your future is in your hands and your hands only learn to fend for yourself learn to succeed for just yourself want what you don't have and work for what you don't have take your drive along with you and motivate your life in the position you've always wanted it to be in you are better than the desire to change. You have the potential, the energy, the momentum to change. Force yourself to make progress, to achieve to be stronger, to grow.